That's all praises to our Heavenly Father in the name of who the world generally calls Jesus Christ. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which is, you know, should be obviously and commonly known by now by the world at this point, right? The so-called blacks, Native Indians, and Hispanics are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. We speak enough about it for people to know it by now, right? We're I'm specifically I'm going to go into talking about the end of the world because I want the world to end and it's the will of the most high. That's right! <laughs> right? And it and it's starting to look like the beginning of that thing. So I'm gonna go into talking about it and you know uh, um, with fervor and you know hopefully the spirit of the most high allows me to bring this out fully the way I'm supposed to bring it out, right? So you got uh, Matthew twenty four and one through six? Okay, bring that up. Matthew. The book of Matthew, chapter 20, chapter 24, verse 1. And Jesus went out. You want me to read it right now? Y'all believe in God? You dog walkers? Y'all believe in God? Right? Well, like the ignorant be ignorant, right? If they want to ignore the message, let them ignore it. Matthew 24 from the top. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his and his disciples came to him. For to shew him the buildings of the temple. Uh -huh. The temple in Jerusalem, right? And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Uh -huh. Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another. And there isn't until a ride, till this day, right? Keep going. That shall not be thrown down. Uh -huh. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? What shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world, right? So now he's about to explain these things. Go ahead. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you, right? That no man, that no one, no man uh, uh, um, pretty much sells you a lie, right? Go ahead. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. This, this is one of the lies, right? They'll come in his name saying that they're Christ and deceive many, right? And that's, we can see how that's led to a lot of these religious cults nowadays that people follow, right? Mostly under the image of Cesare Borgia, which is known uh, as Jesus Christ today, right? We keep going. And ye shall hear of wars uh -huh. and rumors of wars. Just like now, how nowadays you're hearing about um, the the controversy between America and Iran, right? And Iran now, they're starting to actually uh, um, get with China and, and um, work together to try to figure out a, a way to, to pretty much bring these things, these wars to come to pass, right? Through right. the will of the Most High, right? Keep going. See that you be not troubled. See that you be not troubled because we're supposed to have faith, right? We're not supposed to be troubled if we have faith and we know that these things are going on, right? Go ahead. For all these things must come to pass. It must come to pass, right? But the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation. Like it's going on right now, race against race, right? Go ahead. And kingdom. Let's talk about race wars, right? And kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom against kingdom, right? The the nations uh, going to war with each other. Go ahead. World wars, right? And there shall be famines uh -huh. and pestilences uh -huh. and earthquakes uh -huh. and in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. All these are the beginning of sorrows, right? So you got that in Second Ezra chapter 16 and 17. Con, con, read that. This is the book of Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 17. Right. So real quick, I want to speak on uh, what the brother just read, right? We know that some of things, some of these things happen um, shortly after Christ's death, right? Following the, you know, the 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 apostles. Uh, um, going out and spreading the word during the first century, right? Some of these things already happened, right? But in Job 11 and 6, it said there's a there's double to these things, right? Actually, get that real quick. Job 11 and 6, all right? Because what we're seeing that's happening right now is nothing new under the sun, right? Right. And that allows us to understand this. Go ahead. It's the book of Job, chapter 11, verse 6. And that he would shew thee the secrets of wisdom, that they are double to that which is. 
they are double to that which is, right? And there's nothing new under the sun. What we're seeing right now allows us to understand that, right? That the events that took part back in that time that he was living, uh, that Christ was living in and, you know, uh, um, post his death during the first century, though some of these things happened, right? But it would happen again, right? And we can see it right here. Go ahead. It talks about it again, the beginning of sorrows. Go ahead. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Woe is me. Uh -huh. Woe is me. Woe is me. Woe is me. Right? Now he says, woe is me two times, right? Now when we're reading in the book of Revelations and it talks about woes, right? It talks about three woes, right? Now, the three woes, go ahead and get that. You got that? Revelation uh, 8 and 13. And behold, it's book of Revelation chapter 8 verse 13 uh -huh. and I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven uh -huh. saying with a loud voice whoa 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 to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels right. which are yet to sound which are yet to sound right so at that time they were yet to sound but he goes on in revelations 9 and 12 to say this one woe is past uh -huh. and behold there come two woes more hereafter. So at this time, one woe is past, right? He's talking about prophetically the, the first woe is past, and then there's two woes that will come after, right? So, real quick question. Who, what do you think these woes are? Wars. World War I, two, three. Wars. World War I, two, and three, right? All right, so get that back in the second Ezra 16 and 17. The book of second Ezra 16 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Woe is me. What was me? Two woes, right? Yeah. So after two woes, he says what? Who will deliver me in those days? Those days, right? And what? So after two woes, what shall be happening? The beginning of sorrows. The beginning of sorrows, right? Like it says in Matthew 24 and 6. Read that again. Uh-huh. Look at Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. Uh-huh. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Uh -huh. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, uh -huh. but the end is not yet. Uh -huh. uh, for nation shall rise against nation, uh -huh. and kingdom against kingdom, mm -hmm. and there shall be famines and pestilences. Like diseases, right? Pestilence, plagues, diseases, Corona. right? Coronavirus is one of them, right? The flu, Ebola, all these other, these other pestilences, all these are pestilences. AIDS, yeah. AIDS, all these are pestilences, right? Keep going and earthquakes in diverse places. Uh -huh. All these are the beginning of sorrow. All these are the beginning of sorrows, like it's being talked about right here. So before I said, we know that that happened in the, some of that stuff happened in the first century, right? But we can see here when Second Ezra is talking about it, he's talking about it um, happening after two woes, right? After two woes have passed, just like in Revelation, just talks, talks about the woes, right? So two woes have passed now, right? First World War, Second World War, right? So before the Third World War, like we're coming into it, this is another beginning of sorrows that shall happen, right? Just like back in that time. So get that, and we're just going to read on and uh, expound on some things. What? Verse 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death. Beginning of famine and great death, right? And you see how people are like, they're... they're panicking because of this quarantine that's about to happen or may happen right most like i hope it happens i hope the quarantine happens hope that the government just shuts shit down and you know the the, the powers the, the, there's a, a dissimulation amongst the people and they just rise up against the government this is going to be great but you know you see how <laughs> that's right you see how you see how all this stuff is how people are panicking they're rushing into walmart's emptying the, the shelves they're getting all the toilet paper, they're getting all the water, right? They're, they're just emptying out the stores. Like Walmart keeps stocking up to keep emptying out the stores, right? They're closing earlier, right? They're let, they, they want less people to go into the stores now and in the restaurants and stuff like that. Like, because pe people are stocking up in their homes, they're, right? And soon enough, there's going to be a famine, right? Meaning, wh what's that going into? You won't be able to go to these stores, right? At one point in time. I'm not saying that that's directly going to happen now right but these are things that are going to come to pass that we should look look forward to coming to pass right leading into that third woe right, it's a dry right? Uh, that's a dry one right mm -hmm. we're, we're seeing right now what it might just turn into right go ahead 
the beginning of wars uh -huh. and the power the beginning of wars right and the powers what and the powers shall stand in fear the power shall stand in fear fear the people that are in rulership right they're going to stand in fear they're going to start to implement all these things uh, um, out of fear right they're going to cause all these um start ordering all these things to happen in the in the country out of fear right coronavirus like what's happening with coronavirus right that virus really is only affecting old people for the most that's really it's killing old people right, right. mostly old caucasian people that's right, right? That's who is killing, right? And who are the who are the powers? The ru people in rulership, old white folks, all right? All praises, all praises, right? I, and I hope it keeps killing them, right? I, I hope they keep dropping Moabites, right? I hope it keeps killing. Them. Yeah, they, hey, these Moabites are tripping out. Every time you get on the internet, who, who was that saying that yesterday? Every time you 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 get on the internet, you see Moabites eating something that's just abominable. They're just for real, man. It's it's Ripley's believe it or not for Moab every damn day. Huh? The late the latest video was literally this freaking goop this slant this slope, man. He's literally boiling a dog alive. Yeah. Yeah, Moab is wild, man. They got this thing where they put a monkey in the middle of the table. A monkey? Yeah, and they'll shut the table and they'll put their head up and they'll eat it alive. They'll you know, pop it with it. They'll have an axe and a little, what do you call it, the tip of a deal? You crack his head off and eat him alive. Yeah, yeah. it's just wonderful. What's up on YouTube? Come on. Yeah, we'll pull that up. Chinese eating monkeys alive. Chinese. Table. Just whatever. Yeah. I'm not surprised though. I'm not. I'm really not. After I've seen, bro. After what I've seen, I'm not surprised, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, we, we, but hey, we might look that, look that up afterward though. Con, con, con. Uh, all the CEO, CEOs, um, stand, um, dropping down on their position. You don't hear about that? All the CEOs drop it. Go, tell about it. Tell about it. Disney, Nike, uh, Uber, Windows, uh, bro, United Airlines. All these CEO companies, founders of these companies are dropping down. Why? Because they know the economy probably about to crash, bro. That's what it is, man. All right? And what's what's happening with the powers? What? Walmart took, uh, I want to say it was like $40 billion and took it and put it in private accounts. <laughs> See? The power's be in trouble, right? Read that again. And the powers shall Walmart. And the powers shall stand in fear. Power shall stand in fear. Right? We can see it happening right now, right? With all these CEOs, uh, uh, um, like the brother said, right? They're stepping down from their positions, right? You can see it right now. This quarantine going on. The powers are being troubled right now, right? Go ahead. The beginning of evils. Uh -huh. What shall I do when these evils shall come? What shall we do, right? Go ahead. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Sent as scourges for amendment, right? For amendment for what? For what's happened to the so-called blacks, native Indians, and Hispanics, right? That's that's what it's sent for, right? Amendment for all of this, right? For what's happened to the to the children of Israel, right? And just for the Most High's pleasure, because all things have been created for His own pleasure, right? So go ahead, verse twenty. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. They're not going to turn from their wickedness for all these things.